Yo, what's up? It's Tony Nebel here, and today I'm gonna show you how I train myself to gain more mental strength. Oh yeah! Ooh. Oh yeah! All right, let's get started. So the first thing you should do is you should do something very hard in the morning. So right when you wake up out of bed, it could be as something as waking up at 5 a.m. That's considered pretty hard. But what I like to do is I go like to step further, have my body actually feel how hard it is, and this is for me with taking a cold shower right after I jump out of bed. So not only am I really exhausted, still getting out of that groggy state, I force my body to feel this visceral coldness so that I gain that mental toughness. Now, you don't have to be weird like me with a cold shower, but what you could do instead is you can do something like working out or you can do something like going straight into your work. And if you procrastinate a lot, this could be something very hard. Or it could be even something like journaling. If you don't have the habit of journaling, then it could be a little difficult. But yeah, I have a weird habit of I wake up right in the morning, I take a cold shower, I go to the gym, and then I take a cold shower again. So yeah, figure out what's hard for you. Fig the, the, way, the simplest way is what kind of reaction is, I really don't want to do this, but I should, but I really don't want to do this. And then do that in the morning. If it's if you're procrastinating about your dream and project, then you should do your work first. Set a time for 25 minutes. If you really hate a cold shower, but you've seen all the benefits, then take a cold shower. Second thing that I like to gain mental toughness is to do it regardless of any excuses. So for example, I could have not decided to make this video because I actually forgot my light. That's why my face is pretty dark and this right here is really blown out. But I decided to make the video anyways. You should try to make it so that you have no excuses. So whatever you're pursuing, you should try to make time to do it anyways. And the best time to do it is when you don't feel like doing it. Because when you don't feel like doing it, you're training yourself. It's like, I don't feel like doing it, but I'm doing the work anyways. And if you keep repeating this over and over, your mind will be like, well, I'm going to have to realize that this, this person just keeps working, even though I keep telling them to be tired. And over time, you'll start to adapt. But let me elaborate on no excuses. So for example, a lot of very common problem is that when you come home after work, you know, you're exhausted, you're tired, you just want to relax, you know, maybe, you know, watch TV, watch Netflix, just go on your phone, go on social media. And that's a very common response because you worked so hard, you done what society has told you that, okay, this is a good amount of work today. And you just want to relax, you want to have a balanced life. Well, the thing is that if you want to gain mental toughness, you're going to have to do the things that you don't want to do. So some things are like, if you don't want to take, if you want to take a nap, but you know that if you take a nap and you wake up after the nap, now I'm not saying that taking a nap is bad for you, but if you take a nap and then you become lazy, you know, it's like a cycle where it's like that nap was initiated to help you watch Netflix or go on social media, then you shouldn't have taken that nap. Now, if you want to do things that, you know, you really don't feel like doing like, for example, you, you know, you should work in that side hustle, you know, you should clean your room, you know, you should clean the house. But when you get home and you're exhausted, and you don't really want to do it. That's the perfect time to actually do it because that's how you gain mental toughness. It's the, the, the basic goal of this video is based. The goal of this video is do what you don't want to do, even though you know, it's good for you. And if you have that rule in mind, whether you're tired or you're exhausted or you're hungry or you're sleepy, there, there should be no, absolutely no excuse for you to not do that unless you have, uh, if you want to gain mental toughness. Now, it could be something as major as like a family emergency, but I doubt that something as urgent as that happens every single day. So if you want to gain mental toughness, and if you want to train like I am training, I'm not a completely perfect, but I'm working there. If you want to train yourself to be there, then you're going to have to start leveling up, doing the things you don't want to do. Even when you're tired, you're sleeping, you don't let your emotions control you. Finally, the third thing I like to do when I try to gain mental toughness is doing something that is very hard at the evening. So you can already see a pattern here, doing something hard in the morning, doing something hard with no excuses in the afternoon doing something hard in the evening. What I like to do is I like to take a cold shower. I, I personally do not find cold showers enjoying. Now, I love the benefits of it. It's like working out, I love the benefits of it, but I don't like the actual process of shivering 
you know, my butt in the shower for three minutes when I know how good a hot shower feels. But that is something very hard because right after work, I'm not at peak condition. And when I'm not at peak condition, it's very hard because you just want to take a hot shower, you want to relax, have a nice meal, and then go to bed. But if you force yourself to do something like come home after work, work straight, have a meal that you meal prepped it before, and then you take a cold shower before going to sleep, that's a lot harder when you're accustomed to option number one. And because I'm forcing myself to go to option number two, I'm forcing my mind to be like, okay, this is the, this is the reality. This is the reality I'm going to set in. Now, it won't be completely perfect, but if you, if you can get six out of seven times right, and you do that over the course of three months, that's going to start to become a habit. It won't be a locked-in habit. You'll still have the neurons from the previous habit, but it'll be a lot easier. And once you have that solidified, you can start adding more hard things, and that's how you slowly start growing out of your comfort zone and growing and expanding yourself, because then what seemed like very easy would be even easier, and what seemed hard would be easy. Like for example, when I was uh, when I used to take cold showers before, and then I switched back to hot showers. T- going back to cold showers wasn't the most difficult. Now it wasn't the most pleasant, but it wasn't the most difficult. And over time, when I was doing cold showers consistently for a year, I could handle being in a cold shower for five minutes, ten minutes, when before I could barely last for thirty seconds. So yeah, that's about it. Hope this helped you to gain some mental toughness and peace out.